Hi, it's Lisa again, and I'm back. I figured I was at home chilling, so why not do another video? So, I haven't did a what's in my bag video in a while, so I said, hey, why not? So, today I'm going to do a what's in my bag. So, right now, I'm carrying my birthday bag, the Celine. And I got this little... Um, tag from um, I want to say Charlotte Groves. It was a keychain tag. So this is the bag. So I'm gonna put this over here because it's heavy, um, but it's very organized this time. So um, let's get started. So the first item I'm gonna pull out is my um, Coach wristlet. I have been using this as a wallet, um, my cards, um, debit card, driver's license, insurance cards, money. Uh, I have been carrying um, in this. It's just so easy to, um, you know, go get lunch or I have um, taken on a new venture as a volleyball referee. So when I go out to the different schools, I... Um, don't like to bring my purses inside just because I don't really have like a locker room or a set area to put my stuff. So um, I'm uh, uh, able to put my cell phone in here, put this in my pocket, you know, carry as a wrist. So this is what I've been using. But I think I am going to go um, put stuff back in one of my other wallets. But this just really came in handy. And you have seen this in a couple of videos. So... Next item is uh, Key Clave. Now, uh, I bought this um, pre love from somebody um, off the purse form that I belong to, and the hook thing broke off, and I was like, uh, I wasn't able to really repair the hook, the claps. So what I did is I still can use it. So I had like connected it to my keys, but my keys was getting um just bombarded and I know it says it's not good to have a heavy you know heavy like have a lot of weight on your keys especially if you're using uh, a car it's attached to a car key it can mess up the ignition when you turn so I've been using this so I had just put a keychain that one of my coworkers got me and it says Lisa and he had went to visit Memphis so I just use this, but right now I'm um, have my coins in here. So this has been my coin pouch. Pouch. Next is a calendar. Um, this is this is a three year calendar. So I love that. Had it since um, July of two thousand three, and yeah, I still can roll on and use it to July of two thousand fifteen. So. I like this. I hadn't had to buy a calendar in a few years, so that's that. Uh, next, this is um, I think I keep my work ID in, um, and this is my work keys. Uh, I got this. This is um, like a coach ID holder. I got this a couple of years ago. Not a couple of years, maybe I want to say back in 2013. Yeah, 2013. Um, that's where I got um, this coach um, ID holder from the outlet. I want to say summer. Yeah, summer 2013. Next, um, it's been a little rainy in this windy city. So I have my coach umbrella. I bought this, I believe, the same day I bought um, that ID holder and this umbrella I say I think I got this for like $25 but this umbrella has stood the test of time I really when when you the wind strong winds and high rain this umbrella has really um stood up to the tough weather so I you know promise I will not try to lose this one because this is a, is a great umbrella um next I have is um this pouch, and I got this from um, Office Max, Office Depot, one of these for like 50 cents. And I saw this, and I think it was marked down at $2, and I think the lady scanned it, and she said it was 60 cents. So I said, look at God. So in here, I have like my um, 
extra uh, charge, you know, USB um, plugs to charge my phone. And then I went to a conference last week, so they gave us a portable charger, which I know I will be using. So I thought that was just so cute. And then you can push the button on here and it can tell you like how much um, power you have. So I keep my um, cords and stuff and my earbuds as well as in there, but I took them out because I was using them. But yeah, little things like this to keep all your chargeable stuff comes in handy. Um, a scarf. I had a scarf. Uh, when I go to, I'm back working out now, trying to get back into working out. So I like to um, tie my hair up. Um, sometimes I didn't tie it up today. Don't know why, but yeah, I like to tie my hair up. Um, some paper, and then I'm just gonna pull out. I started back using my um, purse organizer. Um, I made a vow that I was going to stop overstuffing my bags if I didn't have to on days I didn't have to. So I just been using this because I have been switching my bags out a lot lately. So it's just easy to pull this out. Uh, so some of the things I have in here is Kleenex, uh, my checkbook holder. You seen that? Um, deposit envelopes for the bank. Um, this is my agenda. I got this from Bevan. I want to say this is about, yeah, this is definitely over a year old. So that's still hanging in there. Um, I started back using, um, my multicolor, um, cosmetic case. This also came from Bevan. It's still hanging in there. Um, some, um, body spray. Aspirins, um, lotion from Bath and Body Works, but the little label has came off, wore it off. Um, keys to my parents' house, because I still do go over there. And it's easy just to left myself in, so I had to wait. Um, another thing of use is the purse holder. Um, I find myself using this a lot as I'm not wanting to put um, my purse on the floor, a pen, sticky notepad. Um, I have some of these high, um, Hawaiian punch shakeups for your bottle of water. Um, another item I got from this conference I went to last week is, um, this is uh, it's a USB, it's like a flat flash drive. So they say you can plug this in and it's a flash drive, you know, from your, you know, just like you had a little shapely. This one is the same thing. It's just flat for your flash drive. Um, the rest, another pen. And then the rest of the stuff in here is just um, papers, receipts, um, business cards, and other randomness. Um, yeah, candy wrappers. So, moving on. This is like a little notepad from my sorority. Um, they gave these out for everybody who attended a chapter retreat about two weeks ago. Um, more papers, which is flyers, just notes I have taken. Um... Uh, a pen, my earbuds, which needs to go back into the um, the um, little technology bag thing. A uh, bunch of wrappers. I don't know what I guess I've been snacking. So wrappers, Ziploc bag. Oh, I knew what was in here. I had to um, drive to my friend's house who moved. So it required me to get on some tollways, and I don't have my little, um, in Illinois we say iPads, so that's the little transponder you use to um, pay for your tolls, and instead of digging for change, it's just a transmitter that just zaps the money out, but I had waiting to get that, so I had to use this and gather my change, and I had to pay $3 going and $3 going back, 
And the man was telling me, Miss, you need to get that eye pass because you'll be paying half of that. So a uh, trip that was $3 to get there, and of course $3, $6, once I get the eye pass, it's going to cut that down to half. So that would be a $3 trip, round trip. And then I had socks. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Um, the other day, I did not wear socks to work. So I knew I was going to the gym, and I just had this rule about I have to have socks on when I work out. So I think I had some knee highs. Yeah, I wore knee highs to work, so I brought the extra pair of socks. But I did have socks in my gym bag after all. And I think, oh, one more thing, two more things, a straw and a comb. And that's it. As I was saying, it is empty. As I was saying, I'm trying to, um, you know, not carry as much if I don't have to. There are some days that I have to just throw a bunch of junk on, but I'm just trying to condense because I feel like it's better on your shoulders, better in your hand carrying if you have less stuff. Um, remember in my last video, I showed you the tote from Walmart. It was red, and I said I was going to go back and get the green one. I did go back and get it, so here it is. I exchanged it from red to green. I think it is super cute. And I also think this one um, puts you in the mind of a never fool. Um, I like this because the um, straps are adjustable. Um, so, you know, you can, you know, bring them down or bring them up according to your arm. So for me, I like to, I like to have rooms under my arm. So I, you know, you know, lowered it so it'll look just like that. So that is it. Um, I did sell that roses never full, and I um took that money, put it up for something else. I'm in the process. Somebody have committed to the Speedy Forty, so I'm just waiting for them to buy that. But I did in the meantime try to place an order with Bevan. I'm waiting to hear back. Um, because I used a MasterCard, I think they say it takes longer to get approved and go through. And he was saying if you would have used a Visa, uh, it would the card would have took right away. So I'm waiting to see if I got approved, if that makes sense. Um, if my purchase uh, card got approved to be processed so I can purchase a Speedy Monogram 35. That is one of the purse regrets I have. Why the hell I sell that Speedy 35? Um, I was so like, oh, I just want another speedy, speedy monogram 35. I even was so desperate. I emailed back the person I, I sold it back to. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I think I made a mistake. Can I buy that bag back from you? Let me know. And let's just say she must be enjoying it because I have not heard back from her. Um, so I'm hoping that, um, my um order goes through with Bevan and I can probably have a speedy 35 relatively soon. If this doesn't work out, I'm just gonna take a break because as I say, Christmas is coming up. Um I'm trying to save up for some things and be able to Christmas shop. So if it doesn't go through, then I'm just gonna take a break and maybe wait to sometime in the new year to get a new bag. Um so um, I won't say this is my last video because if I got more time in the next couple of days, maybe I'll film another one. So, um, I might do an updated, um, video about my collection as a whole. So we shall see. But till then, take care. Have a good evening. Peace.